hello everyone welcome back to the new video of my channel today in this video i am going to make a photo gallery website using bootstrap our photo gallery website will look like this so let's get started to use bootstrap in our website open the getbootstrap.com in the browser and here in the nav bar click on the docs and scroll this page to find the cdn links so here is the CSS link of the bootstrap website. Copy this link and open the VS code and add the starter HTML code. Change the title to photo gallery and here add a link tag to link the CSS of the bootstrap to our website. In the href paste the copied link. Now bootstrap is linked to our website. Which means that we can copy paste the bootstrap code into our website. Now I want a navbar for the website so for this go to the navbar section in the components of the bootstrap website. Here it is and I am copying the code of the first navbar from here. Paste that code into html file and remove the unnecessary list items. I am removing the code of drop down list item and replacing the navbar with the photo gallery and link with the gallery. Also, I am adding two more list items with the name section and about. Save the file and open the browser and here is our navbar. Now our next step is to add images so that our one row contain a three images. For this, I am going to use a grid layout. So open the grid section from the side navbar and copy the code from here. Paste that code into the HTML file and remove the column text. I want to use images tag here so for this open the bootstrap website and open the images section. Copy the code from here and paste this into the three divs. Save the file to see the result and here it is. This happens because we have not added a source link to our images. To add images open the unsplash website and I search here technology. I want to add images related to technology so I quickly copy the link of some images and paste it into the src tag of images. Finally the links are added now save the file and open the browser. You can see the images in a row and it will look more beautiful when we add more images. But now I want to add margin from the top so that it have separation from the navbar. Open the code and give the my5 class to the main div. It will add the margin from y axis. Open the browser and you can see the changes has been applied. To add more images replicate this code three times and save the file. Open the browser and here is our photo gallery website. It is looking good. You can use this type of photo gallery website to showcase your work. If you are photographer, logo designer, thumbnail designer or a graphic designer, you can make this type of website to showcase your work. You can use that type of website for your portfolio. Having this type of portfolio website for graphic designer will put a great impression on client. I want to add unique image for each box so I quickly do this. And here is our required result. Now it is looking more attractive and one thing more I want to add is hover effect. So to add hover effect we have a class image thumbnail which is in every image tag. Target that class in the CSS so I write here dot image thumbnail colon hover and set the transform property to the scale 1.2. This will zoom the images when we hover it. And also I set the transition property to the 0.7 second in the image thumbnail. Save the file and see the result. You can see the hover effect is added to the images. So that's all for today. I hope you understood how we can make a photo gallery website using bootstrap. Subscribe to my channel for more coding videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.